And so today we are going to just see how can we download and install Power BI application in our app. So for uh, sorry, in our mobile, the desktop version, which is free for us. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you open up the browser here. I have my Chrome browser opened up and over here, I'm just going to say download download power bi desktop version right and the first link which i'm going to get i'm just going to click on that first link and now over here if you see this first segment microsoft power bi desktop so there are two options one is customized then the other one is download directly right so i'm going to click on download and then let's see on this also right so when you click on the customized one it's gonna give you the option where you can choose the language etc and then you can download so if you are someone who wants to follow the things in different language go ahead with this option and if you get any difficulty put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out now let's come back over here and click on open microsoft okay microsoft store now as soon as i get it not this page i'm going to get my microsoft store opened so here it is opening up all right so i have my microsoft store opened over here now you can see here i'm getting an option for install when you are doing it for the very first time you might get an option uh, where it says get right you don't need to worry just click on that it will download that and then uh, it will be automatically installed okay uh, here i have already downloaded it previously and that's why i'm getting an option to install but don't worry about it whatever option you get over here just hit on that okay so i just clicked on that and now it's saying that it's starting to download looks like it's going to download it again okay so it's gonna take approximately two minutes until the time i'm going to pause the video so you don't worry about it i'll be back soon quick all right so it looks like it is downloaded for me now i'm going to get and click on open so as soon as i click on open it will start power bi on my desktop that's very exciting okay just let's just give it a second so here like you can see over here it has started to open the v open the power bi applications and it's just taking a few seconds let's just bear with it and this is something which will depend on the system configuration and the internet speed so you might have some better speed uh, compared to what i have in my system okay so if it is so then you're gonna get this quickly all right so here looks like we got it and what happens when it is if it opens up it will give an option you can start with the community and all those things right so if you if you want to use your email and you want to contribute to the community uh, community can go ahead and do that so if you're getting this kind of box you can simply come over here and hit the cross button so that it will close you know here it is asking for some information subscribe to the email list receive helpful tutorials and useful information so if you want you can go ahead and subscribe for it if you not then what you can do is you can just click on cross and click on this cross this is done now over here where what is the source that you want to get the data from you just click that and you will get the option to import the data so this is it in this video here i only wanted to cover about how to download and install it and which we are done with in case if you get a question or any difficulty put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out on that see you in the next video thank you very much